Alright, I want to make a first try video for Paint 3D. I need an idea for a sketch though, an introduction, something that communicates the idea of 2D art, 3D art, all at the same time. Got it. Hello fans, friends, and family, this is Adman, the Adamant Adman of Chaos, and this is a first try, not in VR. This is going to be a little unusual, uh, I know that's what you're expecting, uh, but something caught my attention. Uh, I saw Windows 10 had an update, I've been hearing about uh, Windows 10 trying to encourage the creative kind of community for a while, so that's what we're going to be uh, dabbling in. Um, I don't know all the features, but there's one I'm particularly excited about. I majored in graphic design, so that's kind of an interest for me, and a lot of uh, my early days was in Microsoft Paint. Uh, we should all be familiar with this by now, it's been around for eternity, and uh, it's had a little few uh, touch-ups over time, but mostly it has been uh, pretty much the same experience. Now what they've done here is they're introducing Paint 3D, and that's actually pretty intriguing. That's going to be, you know, still pretty much bare bones, pretty basic stuff. But I am looking forward to this, and I think uh, maybe you will too. So, I'll go ahead and cut over to my desktop here. Let's do paint. And, you know, just for funsies, let's open up the classic. There we go, paint 3D. Alright, try that again. Paint. Here we go, paint 3D. The first try begins now. Alright, so this is going to be cool. Let's blow this up. Graffiti challenge. Express yourself. Test out Paint's 3D spray can. That could be kind of fun. Uh, what else do we got? Paint introducing Paint 3D. Um, yeah, just, I'm sure it's online somewhere. YouTube that part. Back in the day I used to use a program that was called Bryce 3D. It was very basic, very bare bones. Had a lot of uh, pre-made models of mountains, trees, this, but also, you know, the basic geometric shapes that you could use. And uh, that's something uh, I played around with and I used it in uh, some of my design. Uh, I used it in a few college projects, mostly because I needed a background. And uh, I never like using something that I didn't create myself. Uh, you can't create everything by yourself, the, some of the more ambitious stuff. Otherwise it takes forever to produce anything. Okay, so I'm bored with that. Let's go ahead and go to instructions on this graffiti challenge thing. Click on start now and choose a model. Click a remix and paint 3D. Select spray tool. Sure. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, remix 3D. Okay, why did I leave the app for this? Hmm. Alright, come back to that. Okay, how about I just go back? You like me now? Huh? Alright, let's start a new project. Well, this is very flat. Oh, I can kind of see a grid. I think that's something of a background. Whoa. Dude. Uh, let's see, that's a pencil. That's a view in 3D. Hmm. Back to pencil. Reset view. The brush now. I can How are you? Uh, I don't know, it's just a blob. So then if we go to 3D kick in. Okay, so I just drew on the background itself. So uh what would be a cool background? Um first of all can I undo? Yes. Let's go to edit. What are the controls here? I'm thinking I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, brush. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I just want to fill in a lot of space quickly. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> why not the good old paint bucket? There. Uh, let's go more like that. Nice blue sky. Can I uh, do anything with the coast? Ah, uh, good. Let's make it like a little bit towards nighttime. It's a little dark. And let's see, do I have any shapes, like 2D shapes? Because that would help me out a lot on here. 
Let's do that. Hmm. Okay, what's, what's this going to do? Well, it doesn't really seem to be doing anything special. Or at least nothing we can pick up on uh, from this perspective. Uh, let's do a mountain. Mountain could be good. I think it's something like this. This could take a while. Is there any way to uh, make it a little bigger? Yeah, I haven't used anything like this in a long time. Let's go off a shade. Yeah, come on. There we go. I get this done quick for this part. Actually, that would have been kind of. Darn it! I have to, I have good ideas. Far too late. Mm. What I really need are some grays. Uh, drop that opacity down. So I'm really focusing on the 2D aspect of Paint 3D. I, this is what I'm used to, okay? Other than the, the Bryce 3D thing, that was a long time ago. And, and you didn't have any of this part. There was no mixing and matching of media, okay? Yeah. Maybe I should time lapse this part. Okay, we'll go with that. So, that's the basic 2D portion of it. Let's dabble with 3D objects. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Did not mean to click something. Uh, okay, it's giving me some tools. Okay, that's, that's neat. I guess this is kind of a, whoa. Okay, and then I can drag it down and make it smaller. And I can click it again, that's nice. Whoa, oops. Okay, I think I need to like undo a few times. <laughs> ah, bring it bring it back. Was it control Y? Yes. Okay, so let's shrinky dink it. Get a little shorter this way, and kind of uh, point it at the camera a little bit. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, neat. So that's how you decide where in space it's gonna be. Oh, woof. Okay, apparently it's just warping through reality. Let's make a, a ship of some kind. So like if I were to go back over here, let's grab spray paint, let's do some, I don't know, purple. And this is not the background part. Okay, so we kind of got like a hole in reality. Let's do some black. Get a little like this. Drop the opacity. Nope, not on the thing. Hmm, not liking that. Uh, maybe... Man, that looks awful, this brush. I mean, there, there could always be the right job for it, but this just looks awful. 
Maybe some black spray paint on top of it. Okay, so what's a spaceship look like? Spaceships are gray, gray metal, polished. Let's go with polished metal. And let's just take a good old normal one and give it something of a base. Because it's all about that base. Okay, like, ugh, that is, that is unappealing. What's this? What do I. Ha! Sure, let's just paint the whole dang thing. Uh, that is just... Maybe with, when I put more on it, it'll look a little better, I am hoping. Um, let's see, let's do a pencil. Thin. Let's do a gloss. Let's give some, like, highlights. Like, uh, I think the point of it would be here. Orange portholes. Yeah, it's good enough. Now you got, you gotta have some sort of propulsion, so let's go with like some yellow down below. What would what, what's pencil look like on here? I don't even. Hmm. Let's see, let's make that a little bigger. Go. Okay, that that's not even showing up. Uh, maybe some spray paint on here. Okay, I cannot do a straight line, apparently. See, whenever I draw and I do anything digital with it, I do it on paper first, then I wind up tracing the thing, because I cannot draw on a on a computer. I can't. Someday I would love to get like some sort of Wacom tablet with a screen built in. Maybe maybe then I'd stand a chance, okay? Because I don't do well drawing on here. Give me pencil, paper, pen. That is my first choice. Okay, so that's my spaceship, I guess. Uh, what other shapes do we got? 3D models. So we got a human. And let's zoom out a little. Can I do different poses with said human? And have him like be real, real close to the camera. Can I, okay, I guess that's all I can do. Um, now it looks like he's from The Simpsons, so I think we can do something about that. Uh, give me, how do I go back to colors? Let's see, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't know. <laughs> You know what? Who says he has to be human? Let's let's do something fun. Um, make him green. Oops. Dang it! I got the neckline perfectly when I didn't care. Jeez. It is a little difficult, I noticed, to kind of separate. I want to draw on the object, or I want to draw on the background. I wish there was like a toggle switch. Like almost kinda like a layer function. That would be pretty excellent. Okay, so it's looking a little alien now. Uh let's give him how's he look with gray hair? So we can get that much. Dang it. Maybe I need I think I need to zoom in. Yeah, whoa -ho. You know what? I feel like hair should be a mat. Yeah, apparently I do sound effects when I draw. Uh, let's see, I got here around the ear area. He's 
It's got something of a crew cut going on. Okay, is there a easy way to... Oh, well, my scroll wheel can zoom in and out. That's fine, but I really want to get back to the guy. Okay, there we go. I guess you kind of have to point where you want to go. Man, that's like all pixely all over him. Oh, that's more skin. Oopsie. So let's correct that. Why does it insist on being orange? Okay, it seems like no matter what, I'm going to get that pixely edge. Give that dome some texture. Should we be lazy and just keep the yellow shirt? Hmm, don't know. Well, I don't know if, like, when we save, if it's going to be like a JPEG cropped kind of thing. Because I don't know if we're going to be seeing his pants or not. Hmm. Regardless, I do kind of want to see him in red. Ah! Yeah, I don't like the red. Uh, burgundy, maybe? There. Bullseye. Oh, you know what? It looks like he's kind of like sunk into the ground a little bit. So that probably means anything below there is not going to get seen. I somehow suspect if I leave him with a red shirt, he's going to die. Because, you know, Star Trek rules. That's how things apply. Let's give him a little more color. Uh, that one's too big. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually kind of enjoying the shading aspect. Like put a little darkness under the jawline. Put a little darkness behind the ear. Maybe add a little shine to the front of them. And maybe if I shrink this down a little more to like 10. There. Hmm. Because right now I'm doing a mix of. I've done plenty of cell shading for illustration work before, but this is kind of a new experience for me to illustrate shading on a 3D rendering. Now let's get the screen sized again. Yeah, that's interesting, I think. It's just it's just bugging me. Eh. So make right. There. Okay, dude's checking out a spaceship coming through reality itself. Uh, what other shapes do we have to play with? Okay, and he has a goldfish. Yeah, 
Let's use this one. Okay, I don't think I like, I'm coloring the goldfish, and I can just jump over to that. That's, no. Let me color one thing at a time. You know what, maybe I'll take that back once I like start mixing things a little bit. Okay, so Lenny the fish is already further along. He's looking up at it and it's not an ordinary fish because no no it is a space goldfish from space What more can we do with the 3D part of this? 3D doodle, ooh. Let's come back to that. We have, can I change the color of this? Hmm, I can't. So, looks like I have to jump to the color section before I do anything with colors. I'll go with that, go with dull metal. What matches the fish? Okay, that gives me a much better look at a lot of things. Okay, so this is kind of built into the fish. him with fish legs. Robot fish legs. Because that's how space fish travel. Okay, I'm going to select this and just... no. Maybe I need to zoom. There we go. Make it taller. Oh good, I can hold shift and it helps me uh, a little with alignment. That's good. Alright, that is Larry the Robo Fish with his robotic legs looking at the thing. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like we can do a few things with stickers. That's that could be cool. Hmm. Hmm, maybe a few of these. Oh, what what's that do? Oh, okay, so I can it's kinda cool dragging them around. Do kinda like that. Whoa, okay. So let's um, do a few of these. Let's go one whopper of a ninja star right there. What's this? I can, whoa. Ha. Ah. That's, ha <laughs> ha Put this on our fish. Take it a little bit closer to the front. He's like, whoa, that's a ship. What? 
Ooh, ooh. Okay, so let's use an eye on our dude. And okay, that's a really big guy. I mean, it's not like he's human, but there we go. Okay, I like that. I mean, now that's the kind of funny thing <laughs> about this. I'm using Photoshop shortcuts. That don't work. Okay, want to select this guy, and let's give him a quick. Whoa. No, not what I meant. Okay, let's take a. Oh my word, get a little frustrated. Now, like. That is clearly the wrong spot for an eye. But you'll notice, like, if you ever watch a lot of animation, uh, anime, they break that rule all the time <laughs> just uh, to make it look right. Especially the, like, the more stylized ones, the ones with the goofier art style. Let's see what else we can do about this. Okay, we were dealing with stickers. Um, oh, this would have been pretty sweet earlier. Concrete. Can I doodle it? Or <laughs> this guy's stoned. I'm sorry, that's awful. You know what? I like my texture more. Marble, gravel. I would love to see more textures. I wonder if you can add your own. Like, do a uh, uh, from your own collection. Go outside, take a picture of uh, concrete or a brick wall that you really like. Use that. Oh, actually, I think I got my own answer. Unfortunately, on this computer, um, I mostly do my uh, uh, photoshopping mostly on my Macintosh. I do my VR stuff on this machine, so I don't really have any of my stock uh, in stock. So, uh, yeah, that's not happening. Okay, what else do we got? Text. Okay, ooh, so we can do traditional la 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 okay that's dumb or invasion on an alien well what okay i'm not sure what happened there alien world Okay, so I stretch that a little. I control A, I, what, well, no, not. I want to edit the words. How do I do that? Select. Edit, cut, paint. It's giving me every edit. Okay, so apparently when you type something, it's there forever. That's dumb. I mean, it's kind of cool, I can go. <laughs> Man, this makes this part makes me think of like really old school uh, Windows era. Like a lot of Microsoft Office uh, PowerPoint had a lot of cool text. It was amazing, you know, early two thousands. But it's so stupid now. Okay, yeah. So this is definitely the paint version of doing anything with three uh, D. I mean. I may or may not use this for something in the future, but... Mm. Okay. So, apparently I have to try again. Vision of the in world. Well, first of all, I liked on the alien world more. Okay, instead of control A, which apparently does not do what I want it to do. I am annoyed. Yep, no, highlight. Look, I'm gonna shrink that part. You stupid. Okay, well that's an that's annoying. Yeah, I do kind of like seeing alien world uh, as one word. All right, so we got that. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? So let's rotate.
rotate and rotate and this looks like a terrible old-fashioned poster actually let's do a few undos I want to make this a lot more black so I'm gonna go here here and here up my size a bit up my size a lot I need met. Okay, that's I feel like that's doing nothing. I mean like ah, Definitely hard to color the thing you're actually trying to color. Oh, that's a I am so confused. Okay, this feels like such a stupid... What happened to his hair? Ah, okay, let's give him a do-over. Some spray-on hair. Mm, good enough. And there we have it. Invasion of the alien world. Hmm. Okay, definitely feel like there's more to play around with. Oh, we have effects. Oh, okay, day-night cycle kind of thing. Kind of like that, like a dusk kind of quality. Oh, I can change the rest of the background. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, go with that. Oh, I can crop just the background. Well, that's stupid in this scenario. What's this? Canvas. Oh, I can make the canvas bigger. That's always nice. What's this? Remix 3D. Okay, this is when you introduce other objects. So it does give you that. A uh, good way to expand your tools. Uh, if you're looking for something just simple, you can probably do a lot of cool drag and drop. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab a few items. So it's asking, why hello there. Remix 3D is powered by Xbox Live. Well, that's cool. That means you'll connect with Remix 3D with your... Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, I agree. Remix. Mix. Remix. Okay, what is, what is this line? Next. Okay. Hmm. Some interesting shapes. Ah, better goldfish. All right, let's try space. It's infinite, apparently. Oh, cool. So these are just basic shapes. All right, all right. Okay, this is all neat. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just save this work real quick. Somehow. I'm not sure how I save anything. Ah, uh, save paint 3D project. And you can export different options. So uh, first, try invasion of the on the alien world. Okay, let's create a new one. New light canvas zoom out a bit transparent ooh okay well that's a neat idea make this big doy
Okay, so I couldn't come up with a cool way to do a star pattern, but uh, it's still kind of got a spacey quality to it. Now uh, let's go back to where were those mod Ah, here we go. So what looks good? And this. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's make it huge. Okay, so moving some things in and out is tedious beyond belief. I feel like I have to bounce around between different things like a lot to make anything happen. And it takes a lot of practice to, uh... oh cool, I can flatten. It takes a lot of practice to manipulate these things in a 3D space. Hmm, just kind of hoping for another rock. Uh, all right. Let's just reuse this guy. Zoom in and out from here. Cause like, why do you insist on er? Can I like stretch the canvas? Like, stretch the image I already got. Not what I was hoping for. Oh well. Alright, so here's a rocket ship. Huh, there we go. I uh, now know the paint bucket is useful for her 3D objects as well. Ah, for goodness sakes. You know what, leave it. I like it. Alright. I'm liking this astronaut. He's all like, yeah. And it will load eventually. Oh, what did I? Oh, gee, oh, geez. What have I done to this poor guy? It's just trying to move him back and forth, an inch at a time. He's gotta be smaller than the ship. I put some planets in the background. Perfect. Actually, give me another one. And, okay, I said I didn't care for this brush before, but... It's perfect for this. You see, it all comes down to what do you want to use something for. Everything is useful at a given time. P 
please make it easier to move stuff. Oh. Okay, that's kind of neat. Some things could potentially include their own background. Huh, and it looks like that might have been uh, user developed. Those look like familiar textures we saw earlier. That's kind of the neat thing since these are basically just backdrops in the end. Like, look at this Saturn, or whatever the planet of the ring is. It's going through the planet. So, you know, this is actually pretty cool. Okay, this was my first try with Microsoft's Paint 3D, part of the new creator thing for Windows 10. I think this is actually pretty cool. I mean, this isn't going to replace your uh, Poser, your uh, other 3D software that I can't think of at the moment. Um, it is definitely what Paint is to 2D. This is what it would be for 3D. It's got a lot of the classic qualities, but it's still uh, pretty neat. And if you have a lot of character models, uh, ships or whatever, uh, spacemen, rocks, planets, but this is a lot of fun, so I would recommend it. Um, just don't expect miracles out of it. Yeah, I'm glad to have this tool. I've done some little bit of 3D work before, and you know, this is definitely not on the same level, but this is actually pretty good at the same time. It definitely feels like you're mixing 2D elements like paint, Photoshop, well, mostly paint, uh, with something 3D. Actually, this is pretty fun to play around with. So, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll have more videos, uh, whatever comes out, and we'll have some more fun with that. So, later.